Hi guys, we're the 732 Review Crew. I'm Joe. I'm Mike. I'm Mikey. And today we were watching season four, episode six of The Expanse, titled Displacement. Oh no, what is being displaced right now? Is it the people? I wonder if it has anything to do with uh, the planet we're on, Alice, seeming like it's there's more going on than it just being a suitable planet for these belters. It's an uh, egg. Is oh, it, is it an egg? It's is an it egg. egg? <laughs> I mean... Yeah. I mean, they're kind of alluding to that, aren't they? Kind of. I don't know what or, they're alluding to, to be honest. Or is it the factory underneath the planet's surface heating up? Why is there a factory? Because it's a lithium mine. What is well, I'm still... It, all, it going blow up. All we know is there's the three big islands Kaboom. that are heating up. And Heat we sinks. Don't know. Big old and, and batteries. Holden is now in control. He took over power from Murphy. Um, I know his name is Murphy. Please don't correct me in the comments. Um, we had... The rise of Marco Anaros. Rise of Marco Anaros by, right? you know, we had the the obviously sh uh, belt sent ship towards Earth's first response, which was filled with civilians, which was probably just, you know, fake information being sent out, fake news, um, and which, you know, miss, was it Gal? Well, we 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 saw Avasarala respond to that correctly, luckily, but as a result, Nancy Gao, her, her. her rival, is now ahead of her in the polls. Nancy Gao doesn't care about anybody except for Earth. What? Um. Well, she just wants to. She thinks they can solve all of Earth's problems by sending humans into all of these new planets. You know, but I mean. One way, one way, only one way, blah, 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 to find out what's going on. <laughs> Excuse me. Which is to keep watching, because as of right now, it seems like Marco Anaro is starting to make some moves in the belt while Holden is trying to make sure the planet doesn't destroy itself and the people on it. Well, because we've got stuff going on, you know, in in our solar system, and then we we don't even know what solar system Illus is in. I don't think they've said. No. But I don't think. And we didn't Google it. Didn't Google it. <laughs> I, I'm sure someone knows in the comments. So what Probably is on that one? It's definitely a name for it. Uh, but anyways, as always. There's only one way for us to find out. And that's for us to keep watching, which we're about to do. If you haven't already, make sure you do subscribe to our channel. It does help in a long way. Make sure you let us know in the comments below. Favorite part of the episode or our reaction. And make sure to like the video. And we'll be starting this one in three Two, one. Thanks for watching. Oh no, would you have popcorn with butter for day lunch? What the hell? Jim, one of the islands on the other side of Illus just exploded. Like a thermonuclear bomb. You think there might be some kind of massive fusion reactor underneath it? The whole damn thing just blew. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> the first thing you're gonna feel is the seismic quake from the explosion. It's moving straight through the planet, so it'll reach you in, like, an hour. Well, we could deal with an earthquake. No, that's not the problem. There's a shockwave coming around the planet at the speed of sound. With a tsunami behind Oh, my what? That's gonna put, like, a third of the continent underwater. The settlement is gonna get wiped clean off the map. <laughs> I'll call you right back. <laughs> Everybody has to leave right the fuck now. Cash got something important to say. <laughs> we packed the Rossi, the two light shuttles from the Edward and the one from the bar. We can get everyone. When they sabotaged? On trip. Yup. I'm glad you didn't forget about that. Will you support our claim? Tell your friend, Ooh. the Secretary General, that we have the right to be here. If you do that publicly and pledge to help our colony. Then we'll agree to leave. They're playing Mass Effect right now. I can't speak for Avasarala or Earth, but I give you my word. I'll do everything I can. Murphy didn't like that. I mean, he said the right thing. That's all I could say. On behalf of Earth, this is yours. It's like, I mean, I just. Prepping the shuttle and found something that belonged to you. His daughter? Alicia? Yeah. Hey. Felsia. Yeah. What are you doing up there? I'm going to be a space scientist. Anything. She wants to be a fucking engineer. She wants to go to college. Where are you going? With the Bob. Back to the ring. Better do it. I just wanted to go to university. Yeah. Yeah. He supported her, didn't he? Mom was the one that didn't want her to go. Yes. Yeah. Worried. Are you expecting any more explosions? I don't think so. The other islands all appear to be cooling down, so small favors. Much nicer view from orbit. Mm-hmm. What's that? 
fusion reactor sure looks like it Felsia, are you all told me what you did oh she's mad all those people who died on that shuttle Oof. I'm not all we talk about keeping their family together on it is Ooh. And you're the one that ran away yikes oh at least I didn't kill anyone first <sighs> Cold man, kids, bro. Jesus. I mean, the kid's right. Yeah, no facts. What fusion reactor? Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to happen like that. Reactors down. Oh yeah, see. It's like a bad fuel pellet. A batch of them. That's not good. It's not just his ship, though. It's oh, all the ships. Oh. No. It's like the Barb and the Eddie are in the same boat. They can't get off the surface. Okay, but as soon as they try to fire up the reactor, zilch. So the physics of fusion have just stopped working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like that photo molecule is back at it again. Oh yeah, because it was a monkey up. flipping a switch. We flipped it off. I think we're the monkeys. Oh wait, no. I think since it blew up, it it got hurt, so it turned everything off. <sighs> like the speed thing. All energy is now up. All fusion reactors. Since that transmission, it's been radio silence. It's not that anymore, though. That's the terrible part. They're getting off the planet. Barbara Bacola is low on fuel. See? Oh, wow. They're not terraforming anymore? Oh. What's happening in Mars? Probably the muscle right now. Shadow. Hey, answer. Three, two, one. But she's working with <laughs> You're breaking my wrist. Yes, that is the intent. <laughs> Unless you'd prefer to leave. Bobby's so tall. Holy crap. She is. Yeah. I mean. Oh, how tall is the actress? Look it up. He got arrested? Yeah, so the, they flipped it and pinned it on him. Because he's helping him because the guy's a cop? Oh. Thanks for giving a shit. Aw. Uh. Usually he cares about people who can't protect her themselves, but she can protect them herself, kind of. Mm. The light shuttles, the Israel and the Barbies chemical rockets, which means they'll still work. They're small, but we can send them up and down in rotation. Evacuate a dozen at a time. That's gonna be tight. We'll make it. Getting you all off the ground is only half the problem. The Barba Piccola is too low. And it's not rated for atmosphere. The Barb's thrusters were not designed for this kind of work, and... The drive is out. We can't speed up. And her daughter's on there. Sooner or later, the bomb will fall and burn. Yikes. I'm done negotiating. You said that you'd endorse their claim. You made yourself a partisan in all this. However, I am willing to help get them up safely and back down again, provided they dump all the illegally mined lithium on their ship. You're not saving them. You're just killing them slower. I'm not risking them both, no matter what deal you make. We'll just have to make that work then, won't we? It's fucking tense. Yeah, he's a f intense dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can understand him only wanting to send one down at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is an ugly spacecraft. <laughs> it looks like a bug. Two moons. Actually, they have more than two moons. They had two moons in that shot. Uh happening nothing can go into the atmosphere we just lost contact with the chief stand by what's that red dot the shuttle is gone sir and what's that red dot picking up our high energy particles in the vicinity what's going on with the moon the science team is on it they think it might be melting what the moon is melting good thing he didn't launch both shuttles so what's plan c <laughs> They have to get into the monolith. Shelter that can handle 200 kilometer per hour winds and massive flooding. Monolith. See, sounds like everybody dies. <laughs> we'll go to the ruins. Yeah. That man inside my head opened a door and then closed it again. <laughs> we'll have to make our own way in. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We don't have a lot of time. We'll figure it out fast. <laughs> Hey, what's going on with the moon? Oh, it's melting, dude. <laughs> like, oh shit. Oh, okay. 
We still have a tsunami coming in like eight hours, though, so that's prio. And weapons to the shuttle, yeah, it disappeared. So, Jack. The ship that you assured us had been destroyed. Oh, we had every reason to believe that it had. Do you know who was behind the attack? Marco Inaros, a terrorist. He will be killed. There's a tight beam comm laser? That's what we think. Based on the direction, it would suggest the telemetry was being sent to the belt during the attack. By order of UNN Fleet Command, we will be remaining inside the ring space to help secure it from any further incidents that are beyond your ability to control. They're well, well, occupying. Uh. Those are not the conditions of the armistice. The OPA violated those conditions first. Makonaros is not under our control. Then why did you promise you could deal with him if you could not? They did let him go. They did. Which is why he's like, you messed up. Pissed off the, pissed off everybody to make the belt happy. Stand by my vote. If we hadn't spared Marco's life, it would have divided the factions. We have to stay united. Hey, you got some. I gotta say, I feel kind of used. I can assure you, you were. Woo! Oh, Take sweet, it easy yeah. on Bobby, okay? What about <laughs> Alvis Rallo? <Rallo? laughs> but, uh, literally, they're in like a, a hotel right now. Freelance consulting work. Welcome to the laundry superior life. suites. Freelance clients. consulting work. You got a boyfriend now. She got a boo thing. I don't know about a boyfriend. Bobby Draper. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> in any event, it's chock full of top shelf made on Mars, ultra reliable air and water processors. Or ships? Perspective colonists. Yep. Belters in particular will pay top dollar for this stuff. Come on, Space Jesus. Come on, Space Jesus. Open that temple to escape the dragon breath. Or what if it's the dragon's cave? Dragon's breath is what's coming across. Oh, it's cracked. I tell you, I need something done. Then it happens. The difference between us all starving to death and some of us surviving may be how many mouths we're trying to feed. It comes down to them or us. It's us. <laughs> Holden and your new boyfriend may have a problem with that harsh reality. If that's the case, I'll do what needs to be done. Jesus. I think she doesn't believe that. I think she means kill him. Yeah. Or her eye. Remember? Yeah. The bad gear. She's like, yikes, not the time. Stress does cause medical ailments to flare up. That's pretty sick. Infection? What's in her eye? Infection. Well, that's not good. Cataracts. Protomolecule. Glaucoma. Jeez. <laughs> Maybe it's the, the proto-organism that... Protomolecule glaucoma cataracts. <laughs> Is that his kid? He's young in there. Are you also seeing his body? Yeah, I am. Floating. Belter babies. I get to float around. Oh, their bones are so terrible. Well, well, not terrible. Weak. You need to get that premium bone juice. Premium bone juice. The transponder was the Pazuza. I built a very en route to Palace. We need to monitor it. Already in motion. It's a diversion. Me little boss man. <laughs> my, my, my off the rails theory. Doesn't but... get much cuter than that for a uh, belter. <laughs> Sing it to your baby. He's they like, changed the codes. What's the problem? Looks like they laid on a whole new security protocol. The hydraulics that operate this door run through the base of the terraforming tower. She knows too much. She's a witch. <laughs> Burn the witch. <laughs> I'll go out up and down the tower, cut the hydraulics, release the door and let you all in. There's not much air in this. It's enough for me. This won't be the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah. I mean, she, she deserves an extra cut after that, though. Hmm. We'll see. No damage. Small damage? Only put in a tiny little hole. Shape charges, that's why. That'll do. Ah, uh, I feel like lower is bad in Tsunami, but what do I know? Yeah, you're right. This is going to be a waterfall. <laughs> you know, I kind of been thinking that too. I was like, man, I feel like I would have been like, man, if we can't get, get inside. Ooh. 
climb to the top, you know? <laughs> yeah, but we only really saw like a small hallway. In case. There might not be like that much room in here. Bryce! Shockwave! Away from the glass! Jesus oh. <laughs> Get up. I yeah, get, what? Get away from the glass! That's what I said! She should know better. He should know better. They should all know better. You think they would add like an alarm or a warning? How many catastrophes have you been in? All of them. Yes. <laughs> you should know better. That wasn't as bad as I thought. You stop talking. I think they're fine now. Just wait nine hours for that tsunami. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> it looks the same. It knocked over the gazebo in the middle. That was uh, the DJ stage. <laughs> it's kind of what it looks like, right? Playing beats from Eros Station 24-7. <laughs> <laughs> good callback, good callback. <laughs> oh, see, they didn't make it in. How many times did he yell, get inside? I should be down there with you. That makes me feel better that you're not. Alex. Oh, uh, it wasn't disturbed. <laughs> I'm not planning to die down here. He's still got two more seasons. Don't. He's the chosen one. Space Jesus. On a little kid. Mikey, you were supposed to mention that he has eight parents. <laughs> <laughs> he has eight parents. <laughs> it has to mean something. It has to mean something. Maybe it's in the books that we don't get. That would be a travesty. I thought you were uh, going to start reading them all and give regular updates. I can't after until I finish the series. Oh no. Okay, come with me. Yikes. Yikes, indeed. Hey, son, you're an orphan now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Marco is on that ship. He would know by now that there is a price on his head. And do you really believe he would be so careless as to expose himself like this? Everyone makes mistakes eventually. And to capture him, we need to board it. Also, just let him alone. Mind. There'll be a fight. Blow up the ship. Accesses through the top down. Wow, that's an annoying design. <laughs> what, you have to climb up to climb back down? Nobody ever thinks of the maintenance guy, huh? Goddamn engineers. At least they put in a ladder. <laughs> yeah, you hit bring your the, maintenance, the maintenance guy would have put in a rope, so, you know. Ups and downs. Whee! <laughs> Pull. <laughs> so the bottom, you should realize, is some angry plumber years ago built in an access panel. <laughs> <laughs> they just chopped a hole in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> With like a trash can made over it. <laughs> Damn, that's a messy cut. She's not trying to do it. Quite. Wow, it's right there. Why was there not an access door right there? She made her own. Uh, she's out of air. And the door is locked. I was jammed. She just did that. No. Who is that? There's a guy inside. He's locked me out. He's calling for help. Oh, no. I'm out of there. Oh no. Yikes. It says, uh, that's how we're gonna end it! Nope. Oh. Okay. Would have been pretty hey, dumb. It's I had to help her because she's too valuable, obviously. Did they. What happened to the guard? He killed the guard. That was impressive. It's a little. It's, it's a drawbridge. No, it's a piece of plywood. What's that gonna do? There's probably metal in there, sheet metal in there, they'll probably uh, weld it closed, you know? Oh yeah, it's plasteel, I forgot. Plasteel. There is steel. There's like a couple flashlights. <laughs> their eyes are, why are they rubbing their eyes? Because oh, they're wow. crying. Yeah, I mean his parents did both just, I uh, I thought he had a ah, tsunami made thing. landfall. I thought it was an eye infection. Yikes. It's poor old kid with dead parents, man. No, it's definitely an eye infection, that's what it is. Okay, got it. Kids aren't allowed to cry. Oh, no, uh, yeah, you're right, Mikey. Oh, she just scanned. It's gonna break. She scanned his eye? No, she scanned her own eye, remember? Yeah. Bro, how heavy is this thing? 
All right, so maybe it's got some weight behind it. Get out there, Holden. Don't worry, Miller will. Oh no, he's you. gonna flip it, dude! You have to get in there. You promise you wouldn't die. Yeah, you're also like one dude trying to lift this up. He's gonna like throw himself over it as it goes up. <laughs> Bye bye settlement. Yikes. Yikes. Hey, look at this convenient crowbar. A crowbar? Everything's a crowbar. Captain, come on! How's he gonna get out of this one? Go, dude! Oh, dude. He's gonna jump around. Oh. Well, on the plus side. They got some water? Uh, the, the force should have just pushed it. Yeah, out. and then it does, I don't know what's happening. But look, the waterfall. Technically, though, the water, the force would have opened it again if you got in. Underneath. Well, it looked like it was coming underneath first, and then. Ah. Uh, oh, jeez. Has the ring always been the closeout scene? Yeah. I don't know. Has it? Been? I don't think so. I don't know. Um, and as you can see, we filled out the. Uh, whiteboard a little bit. I have cleaned up my writing a little bit on my side. Oh no, some of it got white swiped halfway through. Oh well. Um, I don't know how that happened. It's, it yeah. so doesn't look good at all. <laughs> I'm terrible at You still can't read it anyway. I got that healthcare handwriting. I'm sorry, friends. <laughs> all right, so Margot continues becoming bigger problem. Okay, I feel like you're just kind of stating the obvious on that one. What do you but, mean? He could completely die well, next episode. Literally the last. He could die next the episode. Last, like four straight episodes. They're like, he might be a problem. He kind of seems like he's going to be a problem. Yeah. In this episode, they're like, yeah, he's a fucking problem. It has continued to become a bigger problem. As such, my declaration Bobby has a. He's only in it to get off of Mars. That's an old one. That's an old one. Yeah, the new one. I'm keeping that old. one. Proto molecule girl. Glaucoma. Oh, glaucoma. Yeah. yeah you should let him do it because you were. With yeah, why are okay. you reading my things? <laughs> I, so, I, I guess I was so, just curious. What does <laughs> proto molecule glaucoma mean? Uh, that eye disease that she scanned her eye and there's things in it. I'm going with proto molecule glaucoma. But, but, but when you say proto molecule glaucoma, you're. I don't mean it's glaucoma. Okay. I mean it's just proto molecule eye but disease that think, is a serious issue. Do you think the proto molecule on this planet has evolved into. Because they were talking about it, a bacteria organism with the proto molecule, which because of the, you know, remember the attack that they had with the uh, the, the metal. Uh huh. You think that's the reason why their eyes are like this, and that other belters are infected? I don't know about the infection vector, but I think that it's the proto molecule infecting eyes, so we can see. What? Oh, oh, okay. That's a cool theory. Yeah, okay. I mean, I think it's important to remember okay. what the scientists said when they first got there that it's going to be interesting to see. The different yeah. biomes mesh together. Yeah, exactly. Which is be interesting to see how the molecule. There's a lot of relationships like that where like smaller organisms will latch onto larger organisms and have like a symbiotic relationship, or a disadvantaged one. I'm very like, so curious. It destroys the thing. Yeah, no, no. We'll I, see. No, now I'm curious because that, that's an interesting theory. Mine was just I thought my thing I got half uh, right now, uh, race was eye infection proto molecule is basically uh, the proto molecule hijacked a bacteria on this planet. Whether it came with um, you know, it was already on the planet or it came with the humans that do that came to this planet. It, you know, because it does force evolution to occur faster. Maybe it finally. There's still a proto molecule on the Rosinante. Rosinante? Yeah, 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 there is. Yeah. <laughs> they did not have future purposes. <laughs> but, but the big thing is right now is the proto molecule interacting with a single cell organism like a bacteria, what it was supposed to originally interact with, not multiple cell organisms like humans, causes the ability to, you know, evolve quicker. Well, it's having a lasting impact. Maybe that's what it is doing. It's hijacking the bacteria, and which is then hijacking human life. Dun, dun, dun. So eyes, yes. Uh, and then I got island explosion turned off the fusion physics with the protomolecule protection, just like what happened in the ring with the speed limits. Understandable. So when we saw... The, that's what I'm thinking is happening. We saw, when we saw the fusion reactor not working. We saw that. We were... I think yeah, I, it's kind of confirmed. I, the comment, I was like, that looks like a fusion reactor. But I think that, yeah. like, specifically, it's the same mechanism, like the ring, where as soon as it's like confirmed that everything's safe, it'll turn it back on. Which goes into my next point: that Holder needs to complete the dungeon level to unlock the proto powers to turn the power back on. So you're saying this is like a dungeon crawler, and Holden just hasn't gone to the crack. Well, you see, yet. he is the protagonist, and as such, they have just entered a dungeon, so they must complete the dungeon. All right, I, you know, what? that's not a bad idea. <laughs> uh, or maybe he has to reconnect with his. His, uh, with Miller, 
inner child oh i have that there too miller question mark question mark question mark (laughs) yeah i mean he is ghosting holden right now i mean it remember i did that one episode and everybody was mad at me I feel like yeah. yelling. I feel with the mic. Are you just upset that you don't get to write down theories? <laughs> yeah. Mikey, on to you. Um, my theory is... Hieroglyphics. Uh, yes. So, <laughs> Marco is setting up a trap on the ship that he's currently on. He wanted them to see him. They wanted him to do... You know, they knew You know what they possibly were capable of. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Uh, the big thing is, why are they doing it? They want to start an incident to separate the belt by saying the belters are turning on belters, and Belter Loda needs to... Um, you know, unite. Get rid of the well waller. Yeah, to get rid of the well. That's actually the word I was thinking about. Yes. They have to get out of the well. We have to get rid of the well waller by uniting, and that those with the which is kind of hard because you know most of the people in the fleets are they, what they would consider well wallers. But you know they're trying to start the first Belter civil war for the most part between like you know the, the unaffiliated and the OPA affiliated. And there was a reference with Mars again. Yeah, Mars is currently not the same Mars that we keep fighting. As we know, they stopped terraforming. Well, no, no, no. It's on, the the cover story is that they're replacing the old terraformers with new terraformers. But when she said that to the guy was like, Pfft. "Yes," he's like, "Yeah, sure, whatever, Bobby. <laughs> well, like, let's make some money. Shut up." Yeah. Um, but I mean, regardless of that, it, it you know all the technology that they were going to use is now being sent to Belt, you know, or being sold to Belters for the most sold. part. Sold black market Belters. Black market. So everybody, you know, because the, the Belters are trying to make their push to the outer colonies, what we're going to call the outer colonies, which is like the new planets. In order to do that, they need water, air, and oxygen. You know, all these different things. And mm-hmm. you know, what's better than the, the high tech terraforming equipment? To do that. To go to new planets where you yeah. might need a little terraforming. Now. Part of um, what I wrote, there. Amos, oh my god, I got rid of Kills that. Morty. No, Amos' girl, because we, we don't know her name, unfortunately. The girl that Amos is hooking up with. Um, Where's that word? On That's... the bottom. Oh, wait. Amos, it, it got erased somehow, I don't know how. Okay, whatever. Yeah, Amos Kills Morty was my, my theory last time, it's red. But the circle on this, I think, because the girl had a moment where she, they were talking, and Mercury goes to her, you know what to do when the time comes with food and mouths. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, dude. I feel like, and then she kissed Amos. You know, it's, that's not, I don't think a goodbye kiss. I think that's a. If, I'm with you, Cuz. I'm with you, but if I, if something happens, I might die and I, you know, I can't let you know that. But if Mercury kills her, don't just lean back in a way that makes me feel like Mercury's going to kill her. If Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> If Mercury kills her... We're reading Joe's body language every time we say something. <laughs> if Mercury kills her, Amos is going to become that guy again. I mean, he's always been that guy. No, I mean, he's going to hunt... He's, you know, they had that conversation about murderers, two murderers. Yeah. Amos is going to channel that inner murderer. Mm, okay. What's your um? What's your thoughts on the scene where we saw Ashford looking at him with the child? Uh, my original thought was that Marco was his son. Um, I mean... I don't know about the age gaps, but I mean, maybe, but I don't see it. And I don't know what significance it has other than to show that he's like a sentimental person. Well, they showed but it for a reason. I, I know they that. showed it for a reason. That's why I'm very, <laughs> it's one of those things. Why does Holden have eight parents? Marco is, okay, new theory. It has to mean something, just Mar- like the Mormons. Yeah, but it must theory. mean something. It needs to mean something. I mean, they talk about Marco. Well, he had a daughter, didn't he? They talked about that in that one episode. Who? Uh, Ashford, in that episode where he was crushed, he would sing his, his song to his, his ch- ch- child. And that was the song I guess he was singing there. No, mm. there's a different song than the one. Because they sang the song on that episode, they were crushed. That's true. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I think that's his well, child is related. Song. I don't know. His child is related know. to what's going on. But um, beyond that, the reason why the oh, oh, underground okay. factory blew up was because... Like they said it was a refrigerator that was off for too long, and you turned it on. Any type of power source, any electri- electrical thing you turn on after a while, it's got rust, it's got cobwebs. It just okay. Well, we we kind of know what's going on there, but 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 neither of you, do either of you have anything on like what what is gonna happen with the planet? No, it's just being. Or sure. you guys just think it's Holden's gonna, it's gonna be fine. Uh 
I mean, there's, there's. I mean, it could totally be fine. There's gonna be damage from the tsunami, but like, do I think the planet's gonna explode? Well, like, oh yeah, we didn't talk about the moon. The planet is anything. Wait, like, what do you guys think wait, wait, is going wait, wait, wait. on here? Because Mikey, we're what? just like, yeah, there's an underground factory, but like, what does that actually? Wait, mean? wait, wait, Mikey. So, why, I mean, we, underground we, factory is obviously for lithium. Lithium is no, 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 no. Mikey, we forgot about the moon melting. Oh yeah, we forgot about that. We'll <laughs> go back to Joe. And thing. they're down a shuttle. So I mean, under, so the easiest way to put this is that lithium is used for energy. I'm uh, pretty sure the Epstein drive. I feel like it's a red herring. Epstein drives use energy, so this is probably a factory planet where they either built the ships or parts of the ships used by the creators of the proto molecule. I don't think it's like that. I think it's just like a, a resource planet. Well, yeah. But, 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 because why would an advanced civilization build it te terrestrial side when they could just send all the lithium up to be processed in a space station? Because it requires uh, energy to, and stuff to bring it to space. Yeah, but manufacturing in space is easier than manufacturing on Earth. I don't know. All I know is that, you know, it may not be a factory. Whatever it is, this planet was originally the planet that... I'm actually going to say, I believe it's a factory. But this planet was a fit planet that the protomolecule creator probably mined lithium that was used for the energy storage on their spaceships to travel, the, the fuel cells and whatnot. What? Wait, 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 wait. Wasn't Ellis part of like whatever precursor empire there was? No, it was just yes, yes. It, well, yeah. Well, oh, yeah. I don't think it was a proto molecule only planet. I think it was no, proto molecule with built, them. Okay, not All proto molecule we know creators. Is whoever created the molecule? Yeah. Also created the structures on the planet. We also know they created them before any type of like major events happened on the planet. Meaning, like before there was vegetation or right. any semblance. It was a raw. Yes, raw lithium, yes. which they probably mined to to build things using the ship. Uh, not ship, sorry. The energy. Why the they fuck is the moon melting though? Because the moon is probably a energy source. Remember that they said this. They said that each of the moons <laughs> lines up with. Uh, lightning that was striking the planet's surface. So the moons probably have some sort of energy, you know, like rod, like, you know, like a lightning rod or some type of energy, product, which then channels to the sur Earth's surface or planet surface, not Earth, to then activate the factories so that they can then produce the lithium that's being mined by that giant snake thingy that we saw underground. Dragon. Uh, dragon. Thank you. Yeah. So that, that, I should have said that. So, that's my theory, but it's the mechanical time, in nature, though. I don't know. Where it's a dragon. The dragon and whatever. You can have a mechanical dragon. Whatever. Yeah. Hey, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Any, 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 anything else? Um, yes. I just so feel like we're all. Why were the, the planets place. melting? Why were the moons melting? Because another. Well, thing, was it just one moon or was it all the moons? One moon. It was only. Right. Uh, yeah. There's one moon. It, there could be. The moon is melting because. Like you said, it was just off for too long, and then you turn something back on for a while. I, well, no, because the moon didn't start melting until after the reactor exploded and after physics, fusion physics stopped working. But it only stopped working for the ships because aren't are the islands are cooling down? Well, they down activated too. all the the moons. The islands are cooling down. Why? 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 Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Well, only one way for us to, way to find out. Yeah, only one way for us to find out. I think anything I, else that you want to add? No, I think I'm broken for this episode. Um, the correct things that we had for our theories um for me personally i i did say that bobby was gonna become a drug enforcer for the drug lord uh it seems like bobby is a enforcer for the drug lord right now it sure seems like it and also it okay says, can we stop with the drug lord thing oh uh, well i guess he's a he drug was lord. producing he drugs. was producing drugs he was producing drugs yeah i forgot about that he's just like a criminal though yeah, yeah he's, he, okay so he, he's, he's a uh, crime, lord. crime lord yeah he's a crime lord but he started off as a drug lord because he was making the super focused drugs um but I also said that Marcos would cause an incident t with the inners to try to separate them from the belters more, which is them sending the ship at, you know, at the listening station, which then got tight beamed. So who is he tight beaming this information? He tight beamed it to himself. With the MCRN codes. Yes. That's why they were like, he's on the ship that got the tight beam. But like just meaning he was watching it happen. So he was trying to see what they would do kind of type thing. Maybe. And basically, as we know, Marco was the one that bought the type beam equipment. He's probably the one buying a lot of the equipment being sold that's military grade from Mars. But we also know Whoa. that not related to Marcos, in the first season, stealth ships not stealth stealth drives were stolen from Mars and ended up in OPA hands. And it never circled back on that again. Now, the reason why I bring that up is because, like I said, I've been going through our Patreon 
but to order to get that ready, I have to watch the episodes again. In the first episode, they discuss, obviously, the torture of the guy for finding the space drive. The, so those have never been brought up, the stealth drives. It was a red herring in the beginning and then dropped. My thought is that Marco Naros is the faction within the OPA originally that was the ones stealing the stealth drives so that they could do piracy better. Now, as things evolved, they can now use those stealth drives to attack colony ships without being seen and then cause incidents. Dude, we got to get an editor. You're like in this deep. This is crazy. <laughs> That's my Let theory. Let get your aluminum foil hat. Yeah, we got to bring that back. Uh, I remember that happening. Wait, so... We're when... Like this one random red herring from episode one from four months ago. So I'm going to tie back in together. Wait, so when the Stelgians are crashing into the early detection system, was that Earth's early detection yeah. system? Yep. Okay, and now where where was that place? Was that place in between Earth and Mars? It was just in space, outside of Earth. It's just in Or was it after Mars? It's in Earth's orbit. It's in Earth's, it's orbit. In Earth's orbit, yeah. so it had to pass Mars to get there? Yeah. So, like, is there also a chance that based on the fact no, that... It t- what do you mean it had to no. pass Mars? It, it, was on the, it was on its correct... I know it doesn't have to pass It was Mars. on its correct path of travel until... And that scene, 15 minutes before that scene showed that it then veered off. So it was doing what it was supposed to do until it got kind of near Earth and then it veered off. So it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't weird that they were tracking it because anybody who was tracking that ship originally would have been like, okay, this is. But no, what I'm trying to get at here is why did it wait until like the last second to beam out the MCR information unless it was like had to get close to pick that up and then beam it out and then have the ship destroyed to remove any trace of that covering his tracks except to the OPA, which would incite the incident, while still giving him access to the MCRN codes without anybody else knowing. Well, they're trying to rile up the belters. If you're going to have tinfoil hats, I'm going to have tinfoil yeah, hats. They're trying, to rile, they're trying to rile up the belters by saying, you know... Earth no, but the MCRN codes, they were MCRN encryption codes, which is like secret I do also information. want to point out a really important thing of that it's kind of understated right now of how serious of a declaration of war that is because if you recall when earth did that to mars yeah it's the war happened right it was like we're going to fucking war because you're not like hey those are really nice to defensive positions that you have that are not offensive at all be really shitty if they blew up before nothing bad happens yeah you know what i mean right like it's it's like a a declaration of theirs it really is come now I do agree. I wonder if, if there's going to be a, a war between the OPA and itself and then the rebel faction, the OPA, and the inners. You know, terror, they're going to go full swing with the guerrilla warfare, you know, stuff like that with the stealth ships. But there is only one way for us to find out, and that's for us to keep watching. Yeah. Now, as we continue through the series, thank you for joining us, as always, for our discussions of The Expanse, as well as our viewing of The Expanse. Make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. I'm Mikey. I'm Joe. And I'm Mike. We're 732 Review Crew. Bye. Bye. Toodaloo.